Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to day 13 of 30 days 30 concepts of Flutter series for beginners. In the last part, we were studying about the bottom navigation and we have covered it. And if you have not watched those previous videos, please watch it and make sure that you are following this uh, course uh, in this serial only, in this uh, way only, right? So now in this video, in day 13, we are going to study about a uh, drop down list. So why do we use a drop down list? So sometimes the user of your app needs to select something from a list. So that time we need to integrate the drop down list, right? So yes, so we are going to study that. So before that, if you are new on this channel, you can like my video, subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on these social media links given in the description. Because as you can see that I post uh, something uh, great on my Instagram page, right? Link is in the description. So now let's come to my VS code and you can see that in the last part we were studying about the drop down, uh, sorry, the bottom navigation. And in this part, I will define one more file in the widgets folder called drop down dot dart, right? And over here I'll import that same thing that is material dot dart and I'll define the same stateless widget but in this we have to change the state of a variable that is uh, there will be a string and in this string the value will be selected value will be assigned the value which the user is selecting from the list so that's uh, the the meaning of this is that we have to change the state of that variable that's why i'll define a state full widget so now i'll call this state full widget as drop down widget and let's call this widget in the main dot dart instead of bottom navigation I'll just import it and now let's go to dropdown.dart and I'll define a simple scaffold. In the scaffold, I'll define the app bar. Let's define a simple title, text, drop down list. And in the body, I'll define a simple column. In the column I have children, in the children I'll define a simple container of height let's say 70 and I'll give it some color let's say colors dot red. I'll give it some width also. Width I want to keep it infinity that means the, it should take complete width of the uh, mobile screen so I'll keep it media query dot off media query dot off context dot size dot width so let's save it but i want to see it at the center so i'll wrap this column with the center widget and now let's see and i'll also define its main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center i'll make it let's save it perfect now I'll give some, I want to give some padding to this uh, container. So I'll define, uh, you can give padding or you can give margin. So let's give some margin. Edge in sets dot all, let's say 10, let's save it. Now in this container, I want to define the drop down list. So as a child to this container, as a child to this container, I'll define drop down button right and in this we have some items but before the items i'll have a few more parameters so let's go to this drop down button and let's hit control plus space so you can see that i have elevation i have drop down color and so many parameters i'm having which i can define right so we are going to see them one by one but before that i'll define one variable in my class that will be string selected value selected value and in this you can define some initial value uh, let's define orange so i'm going to use the names of the fruits so let's say selected initial value is orange right so in this items i have to define the other items so let's say i define first one you have to keep the same that is orange and second one you can keep uh, anything that you want to keep in your list uh, apple then let's say banana and now let's say mango and last one let's say grapes so what i want is whenever a user select uh, this apple or banana this 
selected value should change right so that same thing we are going to see in this part so it is giving me an error because it is not able to identify with what is a parameter what is the default uh, data type of these things so i'll define it as a define it as string and i have to map them as drop down items they are drop down items right so after the square bracket you have to write dot map and in this map you have to define a drop down item drop down menu item and they will be of type string now you will get some string value so write string value and then you can return you have to return drop down menu item so drop down menu item type is string so write string value you have to define value value will be nothing but the value which we have which the user has selected and child will be simple text and in this text we have this selected value right so we are also going to change the selected value just a minute write the semicolon and we have to map this to list simple and we are missing one bracket so put one bracket and we can save it and we are getting one error over here we will solve it okay we are doing one mistake we are writing dot to list over here we have to cut it and we have to convert the map to list so we will see where this map is ending okay it is ending over here and paste that over here perfect now there is no error right and let me just remove this red color so that you can see that we have got the drop down list but one more thing that we want to do is first let's remove the red color and the next thing is we have to define on changed so whenever the user will change the selected value then it should reflect in this drop down list right so we will define in this drop down button only we have a function called on changed and we will write and this on change will have uh, it will be getting one string let's call it new value let's call it new value and i'll define a set state so we have set state and in this set, uh, set state the selected value which we have defined above will take the value of the new value that means the user that is the value selected by the user put the semicolon and we have to define this uh, exclamation that is for null safety and let's save it now you will be able to see that we have got the drop down list just a second yeah are you able to see this icon right we can uh, change this icon also and but we are not getting the perfect thing that is we are getting orange 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 right but we will correct it and you can see this icon so you can also change this icon so let me just decrease the size We can also change this icon that we are getting so you can do it by defining icon and you can write anything let's define icon of some other arrow so let's define icon start arrow i will get a down arrow only yes let's take this arrow let me just save it and you can see that we are getting this arrow and now we have to define the value of this drop down button so we have a parameter called value and in this value the value of the selected value so write it and paste it perfect and this drop down button is uh, returning the string so we can write string over here perfect save it and you can see that we are able to see orange and but we are only able to see orange 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 so to correct it uh, yes so in the child text we are returning selected value but we have we do not have to return selected value we have to write value that means the value which is present in this list that should be seen in this list right so that's why that's that was a very silly mistake so now if i just see my list now you can see orange apple banana mango and grapes so if i select grapes you can see grapes is done so if i select banana you can see banana is visible over here so like this you can uh, initiate a drop down list in your apps now you can see that it is very congested it is not taking the complete width i want that it should I want that it should take the complete width of this container, right? So for that, in this drop-down button, you have parameter called expanded, 
and make it true and if i just save it you can see that now it is taking the complete width wherever i am going to click in this list or in this container you can see that i am able to see this list and you can change it so in this drop down button we also have a parameter called the uh, color and that color is drop down color and you can just write let's say colors dot gray dot shade let's say we take 200 and if i just save it now you can see that the shade of this uh, drop down button or we can say drop down list is changed you can give any color of your choice perfect right so like this you can integrate uh, uh, what we can say drop down list in your apps so i hope you like this video the code is in the description you can uh, go to my repository and you can take the code so yeah i hope you like this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot